All right then gang, so now we've seen containers, rows and columns, all those ways to lay out the content on our screen. Now I'd like to show you another layout widget called the expanded widget. And again, if you are from a web background, you're gonna find this very intuitive because it works very similar to Flexbox. So first of all, notice that I've got these three containers right here inside a row which is inside the body. So I stripped out all of the stuff we did before, replaced it with this row and these three containers as the children. So at the minute, this looks like a blank screen because there's nothing inside these containers. But what we're gonna do is just give these some padding, a color, and maybe some text as well so we can see them on the screen. So for the first one, I'm gonna say it's got a padding and it's gonna be edge insets, dot all for all the way around. Then we're gonna have 30, pixels of padding. We're also gonna give this a color and we'll color this cyan. So colors.cyan. And then finally, I'm gonna add a child, which will be a text widget. And inside here, we'll just say one. So we have one container and if we save, we can now see this container right here. Now what I'm gonna do is in fact, grab all of this stuff and just paste it inside the other containers because I'm super lazy and I really, don't want to rewrite it out all again. So now we can just change the colors. So this one I'll change to pink accent. And then the bottom one I'll change to amber. And then this one I'll change to two and this one to three. So now we should have three containers now all in a row at the top and they're flush left against the left side of the screen. Now then, what if I want to make these containers take up all the available space available to them. So for example, I want this whole row width to be shared out between these three containers. Well, what I could do is I could wrap each one of these containers inside an expanded widget. So we've seen how we can wrap something in a new widget. We can go to the action menu and then go to wrap with new widget. And then we're gonna call this widget expanded. So. If we check out this now, if we save it, notice we still have containers two and three the same size, which is the size of the content inside it. But the first container now, because it's inside the expanded widget over here, it's taking up all the available space left over. So that's what an expanded widget does. And this is very similar to the default behavior of Flexbox in CSS. So what if we now just wrap the rest of these with an expanded widget as well? Well, we could do that. I'm just gonna highlight this one over here and click on this, go to wrap with new widget and say expanded. And then I'll do exactly the same over here. I'm gonna click on this and go to wrap with new widget and call it expanded like so. Okay, so now we have these three expanded widgets. And if I save, notice now they're all taking up an equal space horizontally along the row. So it's like we've taken all of the space available and just divided it into three because there's three expanded widgets here and we've given each one an equal share of the space. So that's really nice. That's how expanded widgets work. And the really cool thing is that we can add on a property to these expanded widgets called flex. And again, really like the Flexbox property in CSS. So what I could do is provide a number to this, and that number is gonna represent the portion of width that we want to associate with this expanded widget. Now, that might sound like gobbledygook at the minute, but just watch this example and it will become clear. So if I give this a flex value of three, and if I come down here and give this one a flex value of two, and then come down here and give this one a flex value of one, then save it, watch what happens. So this one has a flex value of three, this of two, and this of one. So the higher the flex value, first of all, the more space it seems to take up. And what this number represents is a portion of the width that we want it to take up. So if we add all these up, we have three plus two plus one, which is six. So what we're essentially saying is, okay, split up the row into six portions of width. Then I want you to apply three of those portions of width or give three of those width portions to this expanded widget. So this takes up three of those little pieces. This takes up two and this takes up one, okay? 
So this basically gets half because three is half of the total, which is six. This gets a third because two is a third of six and this gets one sixth. Does that make sense? So they're basically fractions of the whole width that they take up. So we can play around with these a little bit. You know, if I make this something like six and then make this three and that one, now the total is 10. So this top one will now get six tenths of the width. This will get three tenths and this one tenth. So if I save it, then we can see those updated widths right there. So if I give this all one, then it's gonna go back to the default where they all get an equal share because they're all the same, they all get one third. Does that make sense? Now, another good use case for expanded widgets is when we're trying to contain images within the boundaries of the screen over here. So what we could do, for example, is come to this row over here, this list of children. And what I'm going to do is add in an image. So we'll just say image.asset. This was the shortcut, remember, for adding an asset image. And we're gonna pass through the path, which is in assets, and then forward slash, and we'll just go with this one, space hyphen two dot JPEG. So if I save this now, because these images are naturally really large, it's gonna go off the page if we see it, and we don't even see the rest of these expanded widgets because this has pushed them right off the page because it's so large. Or rather, it's not pushed them off the page, it's kind of gone over them, so we can't see anything else. So what we could do is we could wrap this inside an expanded widget. So if I just hover over here and then go to wrap with new widget and then choose this to be an expanded widget like so, then what we could do is save this now. And this expanded widget contains that width of the image like this. So now it takes up an equal share. So we could also override the flex property of this thing over here. Let me just scoot this to the next level down and do a flex property on this. So I could say this now has a flex of three, which means it's gonna be three times as wide as these things over here. Save it, and we can see that as well. So that's another good use case of expanded widgets to contain child images. So there we go, my friends. That's the expanded widget in a nutshell. We're gonna use them to expand content to take up whatever space is available to them. And we might be using these in the future as well as we create our different projects.